All right, scholars, let's take a look at how we can use Google Spreadsheet to graph our data from our acceleration lab and how to import that graph into your Google Docs lab write-up. First, go to Create Spreadsheet. Give it a name, Force Acceleration Lab Group. Uh, whatever your group number was, and then the first names of the people in your group. If you've named it something different, you can go back and change the name of it. Click OK. The first column is going to be our data for force. The first column in every in any graphing program is always the independent variable. And then we can put the dependent variable in the next column. I'm going to make up some numbers. 0.92, 1.85, and for the acceleration, 0 0.54, and 0 0.91. To graph it, we highlight the two columns, go to Insert Chart. We want to select a different chart than the ones being shown here, so go to Charts. Scatter plot, pick the top one. That's looking good. Now we can go to customize. We can give our chart a title. And generally speaking, you should try to mention the two variables in your title, like acceleration versus force. And then give it some context for a cart. We can scroll down here. We can give a title for the horizontal axis. That's force in newtons. And then we can also uh, select this menu and give a title for the left vertical axis. I'm going to pretend that you forgot to do that, and I'll show you how you can go back and change the label later. All right, so we scroll back up, and uh, we click Done. Somewhere on here. So on the bottom, Insert. And there's our graph. So notice that we do not have a label yet for our left vertical axis. Just click on it, and a little window will open up, and now we can give it a, a label. Acceleration meters per second per second. Press Enter. Hmm. OK. Sometimes this program can do some weird things here. There it goes. We can get rid of our legend. You really don't need a legend if you only have one data point. So I'm going to right click on it and hit clear legend. Now we want to copy this into our lab write up. So here's how we do it click on the drop down menu, copy chart. It copies it into what's called the web clipboard. You'll see it under here. Um, web clipboard here. Well, it's not showing there. I think it'll show once we get over to our, our document. So now go to your write-up. Go down to where you want to put in your graph. So right here, the graph below shows our data for, point, for part one. I'm going to go to Web Clipboard and click Chart 1. And voila! There it is. You can get rid of these instructions underneath. All right, now you can repeat that same process for your other graph. Uh, I'm going to show an, another, I'm going to show you something else about doing your data here. So I'm going to get rid of this graph for a moment. And I can do that by right clicking on this and saying delete chart. Now some of you have data where you didn't actually put in the acceleration value. You did change in velocity measured in meters per second, and time interval, seconds. And you had spreadsheet calculate the acceleration for you. So let's show how you can plug in your numbers here. I'm just going to make up some numbers. Velocity uh, 0 0.6, sorry, 0.65 and a time interval of 2.8 and the other one 0 
six and a time interval of 1.8. Now, as far as acceleration goes, um, we can calculate it. it. Equals the change in velocity divided by slash the time interval, and it will calculate it automatically for us. Now we can click and drag down. We do not want that number of sig figs, too many. So go to format, actually click on the whole column, go to format, number, and pick the one with two decimal places. All right, that looks better. Now how do you graph the data when you don't have the independent variable and the dependent variable right next to each other? Here's how you do it. Just click one, um, one column, and then go to insert, chart, and we can, now we're going to click here where it says select ranges, add another range. We can go back to our graph, just click on the D column over here, and now it has selected that, and hit OK. And then do the same thing we did before, charts, scatter, scatter plot. So this is the way you do that. I want to show you another trick with Google Spreadsheet. Cancel out. What do you do when you get to part two of your data? Here's how. On the bottom, you open up a second sheet. So you say duplicate. And you can rename this other sheet. You can call it sheet two. So sheet one is our part one data. Sheet two is our part two data. We still have force. Actually, no, we don't. We were varying the mass of the cart. So, um, and we're going to have different numbers in here, of course. The mass may have been, uh, let's say, 3.1 kilograms. Then it may have been 4.8 kilograms. Um, so then you're going to graph this the same way I just showed you. And copy and paste your graph the same way I showed you already. Okay, scholars. So I hope that you have um, good luck with doing that. And um, we're going to... Tomorrow we'll be partnering up and doing peer evaluation on each other's write-ups. See you tomorrow.